29.5 milligram of an organic compound containing nitrogen was digested according to Geldal's method right and the evolved ammonia was absorbed in 20 ml of 0.1 molar HCl the excess of the acid required 15 ml of 0.1 molar NaOH solution for complete neutralization right so whatever ammonia whatever nitrogen was present in the organic compound was evolved as ammonia and that ammonia was absorbed with HCl right that is the moles of moles of HCl reacting with ammonia will be equal to what the moles of HCl absorbed right the ammonia evolved was absorbed in 20 ml of 0 0.1 molar HCl so this is equal to the moles of HCl absorbed minus C the remaining was treated with excess of acid so minus the moles of HCl undergoing neutralization right so the moles of HCl reacting with ammonia will be equal to see this is 20 ml right and this is 0 0.1 okay so the number of moles will be equal to what the molarity multiplied by the volume in liters so what is the molarity it is 0 0.1 multiplied by 20 multiplied by 10 to the power minus 3 liters right so it is 10 to the power minus 3 right then the moles of HCl neutralized is equal to 15 into 0 0.1 molar that is molarity into 10 to the power minus 3 right so how many moles of HCl is reacting with ammonia it would be just calculate this 0 0.5 into 10 to the power minus 3 right now this many moles of HCl are reacting with ammonia it means this many moles that is 0 0.5 into 10 to the power minus 3 moles of nitrogen is present in the organic compound right so it is present in the organic compound because in Geldal method all the nitrogen present is comes out or sorry comes out as ammonia right now what will be the weight of nitrogen then that will be equal to what the number of moles that is 0 0.5 into 10 to the power minus 3 into 14 so the weight of nitrogen present would be equal to 14 into 5 14 times is 73 so it comes out to be 7 into 10 to the power minus 3 grams so this much gram of nitrogen is present in the organic compound right now for forming taking out the percentage of nitrogen what will you do it will be 7 into 10 to the power minus 3 divided by 29.5 multiplied by 100 right so 
what will be the answer over here? So it comes out to be 23.7%.